Hello friends out there in YouTube world, welcome back to my channel or if you are new here, welcome to my channel. My name is Beck, and I am a 41 year old mum of three children. I live in the Midlands and I upload lots of haul videos, day in the life videos, bit of cleaning and cooking here and there. Um, and yeah, if that's your um, your kind of thing that you like to watch, sort of thing you like to, to watch on YouTube, then um, if you could give me a like and a subscribe and um, hit the notification bell down below, that would be absolutely fantastic. I would appreciate it so much and it would be so nice to have you um, here with me on my YouTube journey. <laughs> um, to all my existing subscribers, welcome back guys. I hope you're all well. Um, love you all lots. <laughs> And yeah, um, I hope you're all good. Um, I'm coming to you today with another charity shop haul. Whoop! <laughs> it's a bit of a treat actually guys, two in one week. It's actually been a long time since I've been able to do that because there was a time when I was posting perhaps two or three charity shop videos a week. But um, as I keep saying, it's um, it's been a bit slim pickings out there at the minute. So it's been hard to um, get as many of those videos out to you. Um, but... That being said, I decided to go to Daventry the other day. This video was supposed to have come out yesterday. I do apologise. Um, I didn't actually get to film it in the end um, because there was so much going on. The kids were both leaving school yesterday. Uh, well, their, their schools that they, they were in. Zella's left infants, Leo left juniors, and it was a really, really busy day. We had like parties afterwards with the kids and stuff. And yeah, it was a bit ambitious of me to think that I could film yesterday. So I'm doing it today instead. Um, it's Today is Wednesday. It's Wednesday the 26th of July. I'm completely out of sorts with the days because for some reason where we are, the kids went back for two random days. Most of the schools in our area finished last week, but ours had to go back for two random days this week. So it feels like a Saturday today, but it's not it's Wednesday <laughs> just to make things even more confusing if there wasn't enough to be thinking about at the minute um so yeah what was I saying of last <laughs> I went to Daventry the other day I thought I'll go and check out over there see if I can see anything because I hadn't been there for a while and I did actually manage to find a few bits um and then I've also popped into town again and found managed to find a few bits in there as well um yeah there was a there was a bit more stock out this time when I went and, went and had a look so yeah, I was quite pleased. Um, I've got a few items, clothes um, and more homey bits as well. So yeah, uh, I've got some, some nice bits to show you. Um, so yeah, I hope you're all good. I hope you're all well. Um, and without further ado, let's get into the haul. Right, I think today I will start with the homey bits and leave the clothes till last. Um, yeah, mix it up a bit. Um, right, where shall I start? Right, first of all, I will show you this beautiful vase that I picked up. Um, this was in uh, Cancer Research, this one was. This wasn't in Daventry, this was in town. I popped into Cancer Research. It was £2.50. And it's just a really nice jug, guys. I'm all out on the jugs and the mugs at the minute. <laughs> love a jug and I love a mug. Um, it was £2.50 and I don't know, it, I just really liked it. I like this, I do really like this style of glass jug. I haven't got one um, and I thought, um, oh, I'll have that one. Thank you very much. It says a full litre on the front of it. So yeah, two of them a day and you've got your water. <laughs> um, but what I was thinking, I'm going to get some artificial flowers for this. A bit like those in the background there. That was a charity shop bargain, that was. Um... Yeah, some artificial flowers to go in here and I'm going to put them in the dining room area, I think. Or the kitchen, I'm not sure yet, where, wherever I think they, that it looks best. I'm, and I can just use it as a vase if I need to when, when I have some flowers. You won't get many in there, which is why I thought it would probably be best for a little, you know, artificial bouquet. Um, but yeah, I, I really like that. Um, just a really nice, you know, decent glass jar jug what is it a vase that's the word i'm looking for <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> ignore me right that was my first item guys um secondly i got this one from this was cancer research as well it was the grand sum of 50p i wasn't going to leave it behind i don't necessarily need it although i say that i do really because i'm a bugger for sm smashing stuff um and it's just a really lovely just a very plain very classic um just a little jug and i've got this in mind for my tea tray that i have in my kitchen i've currently got the gisella graham jug that i found milk jug on there 
but like I said, I'm very good at smashing things. I'm extremely clumsy. Um, my mother would tell you that. Um, but, so yeah, 50p, I thought I'd grab that because that's a good standby if I ever smash my other one. Perfect for just milk on a little tree, tea tray. It's originally from Dunelm. So, you know, nice little make. And yeah, I just really liked it. For 50p, I was like, oh, it's not going to break the bank, is it? I mean, I can use it for all sorts, even like at Christmas when you've got, you know, people around and you've got your puddings out and you need something to put your cream in. Um, I quite often need a few jugs for that, for the amount of people we have in our house at Christmas. So yeah, 50p, really nice, just classic little jug. I was pleased with that. Um, next, I got this little item. This was from Bernardo's. It was one pound fifty, and I, I, the only reason I got it is because it's Gisela Graham. Um, <laughs> it's just a really lovely little fish photo frame. Um, it was one pound fifty, and I'm going to put it in my toilet downstairs, which is actually here. I'm filming in the hallway. This is my hallway. <laughs> Somebody asked me before. They said, "Oh, you're, you're somewhere new." It's my hallway, guys. Um, yeah, when there's a lot going on, obviously with it being the first day of the holidays, there's people everywhere. There's kids in the living room. Um, upstairs sometimes the hallways are quite a good place to film because it's quiet <laughs> um what was i saying again i've gone off i've gone off piste again haven't i um yeah a nice just a really lovely little gisella graham i can't i can't resist this is a bit like emma bridgewater kath kidston gisella graham as well i can't if i see anything like that i can't resist it it was one pound fifty and i've got a nice little picture i can put in that um, but yeah, I thought that would look really lovely in the toilet downstairs because it's obviously the fish theme, you know. I've got a bit of like a seaside theme going on in my downstairs toilet. So yeah, I'll, I've, um, I've got um, an area in mind for that. You know, £1.50. Like I said, I don't need it. I did say I wasn't going to do that anymore, but couldn't resist because it was a Gisella Graham. Um, right, next. These were a bargain. Um, these were from the air ambulance in town. Oh, sorry, I've gone a bit wobbly there. Um, you're resting on a stool with the tripod. It's all high tech here, guys. All high tech. <laughs> um, yes, these are from the. These were from the air ambulance. The box is tattered, but quite frankly, it doesn't matter because I don't need that. They were originally. They were only ever two pounds anyway, but they were reduced to one pound if you can see there and they're a box of six ramekin dishes which i thought that is not bad is it six wait nearly lost <laughs> six ramekin dishes for a pound now i'm not going to be using these for probably for what would they be you know making creme brulee creme brulees or a souffle I've never made one of those in my life, so I won't be using it for that. But I thought these would be great for, you know, nuts, peanuts, um, snacky bits, dips. Um, you know, when you're if, you, if you're hosting and you've got yet again people around at Christmas or for anything, you know, parties, and yet yeah, you want to put your nuts in something. <laughs> Why do I always? Why do I get like that whenever I talk about nuts? <laughs> Yeah, if you want to put your nuts in anything, um, or your dips, you know what I mean, don't you? Like if I was doing like a little dip tray, um, I could have hummus, um, I don't know, all sorts of different dips in these. And I, so I thought a pound. Yes, thank you, I will take those. I was quite surprised they were still there really. And they're lovely, they're brand new, never been used. They say, oh, what do they say on them? Apilco Porcelain, France. Apilco Porcelain, France. I say they've not used. I don't know. They might have been, actually. Um, yeah, it says they are porcelain from France. So, yeah. I don't know. What do you think? That's, I mean, that's, that's, that's a classic charity shop bargain, I would say. You know? Like I said, the box is absolutely battered, but don't need to worry about that because I won't be using the box. Right, next. I found some Kath Kidston again. The, admittedly, it's not my best Kath Kidston find, but couldn't leave it behind because it was Kath Kidston. It's actually brand new. It's still got its original tag on it. As you can see, it was £3. This was in Might and Hospice. And it's, it's actually just a tiny little kids one. You know, the Kath 
kids range, which I think is a cracking, that is genius that is, isn't it? She's got a range for children, so she calls it Kath Kids. Hello, Kath Kids and Kath Kids. I was, when I came back from the charity shop today, I was, I was saying to myself in the car, that's really, I was having a conversation with myself in the car about it. Honest to God, I do scare myself sometimes. But yeah, so it's four kids. It's only a little, tiny little bag. I originally thought I'll give that to Zell. Zell, Zell will have that, she'll like that. But then I thought, you know what? I might use that as a peg bag, what do you think? I thought that's actually perfect to put my pegs in because the peg basket that I did have was broken. It was a plastic one. And all my pegs will fit in there nicely. And then I can hang them up in my utility room cupboard. So yeah, I love it when a plan comes together. <laughs> This is it, you see. Anything, anything, Kath Kidston. No, like I said about the baskets, no baskets left behind. No, no kid, no Kath Kidston left behind. Um, so yeah, I thought, and it's that really lovely classic print um, that I love. I really, really love that. And three pound. I don't know how much it would have been originally, but I thought that was quite a good idea for a peg bag. So yeah, that's what I'm going to do with it. There was actually two of these, but I left the other one behind because I thought, no, I'm not buying both of them um because i really don't need to um so yeah just pick that one up uh right what have i got next oh now this oh this is beautiful this is uh, and this i tell you i got some good bargains this time i really did um because this is brand new it was one pound which i was quite shocked at and it's it's brand new it's never been used it's a, a marks and spencer's candle calm now i mean it's got a few see it says marks and spencer's there the glass itself is a bit grubby and stuff, but it's brand new, guys. It's never been used. It's a three wicker candle. They're always good, aren't they? Now, and it was a pound. A pound. Hello, one pound. Now, I didn't, I didn't need any more candles, and I'm not, I'm tending to, if I see candles now, I'm not buying them, even if they are brand new, but this, I couldn't leave this one because... It smells divine. It's an aromatherapy one. Now, I've not got any candles that are aromatherapy. This one is, um, it says apothecary, which I think is aroma, it's like, it is aromatherapy, isn't it, I think? It contains essential oils, lavender, hoe wood, sweet orange, and cedar wood. It smells beautiful. I don't know whether these are in there at the minute or whether this is an old one, but hello, a pound. Um, and it just smells beautiful. I'm going to put it on my table, my dining room table next to, I've got like, um, I've got a candle on a little pillar. I'm going to put it on there because I think it will look really nice on there. Um, but oh, I just, this is what I love. These are the bargains. These are the treasures. A lovely Marks and Spencer's candle, never been used, one pound. I mean, yes, thank you very much. Um, yeah, so I was really chuffed with that one. Very, very chuffed with that one. Um, right now I've only got it's just clothes left to show you now guys so I'll show you the clothes I've got uh, one item for me everything else is for Zella and Leo um, I'll start off with this now this this was a cracking bargain it really really was um, if you live in rugby and you've got and you, you're looking for t-shirts get to the uh, air ambulance because they've got some right bargains going on there this is an Asda t-shirt it was originally six pounds it's never been worn, as you can see. It's an X-Men one. Now, I have, did not pay £6 for this. I paid £2. In our air ambulance where I live, um, they've got pretty much everything is £2. Um, if, and if there's not a tag on it, every, you know, it's £2. Pretty much all their clothes in the shop are £2, unless it's something special, which is fantastic. I only discovered them not long ago, actually. I didn't, um, didn't realise we had one. But yeah, it, everything's £2. These were £2. Um, there must have been, I kid you not, 30 of them in there. You do see that sometimes in charity shops, don't you? Shops, if they have surplus um, stock, they give it away to charity shops. I've seen, I've in our Oxfam where I live not long ago, they had a massive, massive um, display of, do you know when Miley and Clash used to do clothes? I think they used to um, sell in boots, I think. Um, she, they, well, there was just a massive uh, collection of all of her baby clothes in there, brand new, like this, tag still on. Um, so yeah, you, you do see it sometimes, but I, yeah, so basically I've got this for Leo. It is a size, which it's a size large, but that will fit him. He likes an oversized t-shirt. Um, 
I was, I was a bit, I, I came away and I thought, I should have bought some more really, but I couldn't think of who else I could really buy them for. So I thought there's no point, I'll leave them because for somebody else, that's a really, really cheap way of buying, you know, a present for somebody, um, kitting your kids out, you, you know. So I thought I'm going to leave that. But yeah, it's just a really nice X-Men print on it, which he will like. He's going away on holiday tomorrow. The kids are going down to Eastbourne to stop with um, Richie's mum and dad in their caravan. Um so yeah, I've got a few days on my own next week, which will be nice. Um, so yeah, he can take that with him. Um, yeah, two pound. You know, you just can't go wrong, can you? Um, next, I got myself a lovely pair of trousers again. These were from, where were these? These were Headway. Um, they were three pound 49, size 16. And they're just another really nice pair of summery trousers with a really lovely print on them. And then this nice stripe design at the bottom um all flowers lovely flowers all over them this is what i'm wearing a lot of them in i love a wide leg trouser they're like a three-quarter length they're not to the floor um but that's that's what i quite like um three-quarter length in the skirts and the shorts um yeah just like the flat paneling across the front there a bit of elastic on the back which is always nice because it gives you a bit more room <laughs> um and yeah i do really nice they're quite thick actually quite a thick material but yeah I, I really like those um i've tried them on and they fit really nice so yeah what do you think guys do you like them i was chuffy there um i'm finding quite a lot for myself in the charity shops at the minute there was a time when i couldn't find anything but now i'm finding lots and it's it's really nice so yes pleased with those i was um Right, last three items there for Zella. I always, like I always say, I always managed to find that girl something. And I found her some really lovely bits as well for pence, quite frankly. This was, these were all from Bernardo's. Um, they were originally Zara. They're Zara girls. They're in age nine to 10, which is perfect for Zella. This was only ever originally, it was originally £2.50. I paid £1.25 for a Zara girls top. Oh. Gives me goosebumps. <laughs> and it's a lovely, really sort of lin cotton linen-y, um, polka dot-y, got these beautiful little coloured um, spots on it. Perfect for summer, really cool, with a pair of, a pair of shorts, with a pair of leggings, um, just a really, really pretty little top. She's tried it on, she liked it, it's been approved. Doesn't always happen, but no, she liked this. I mean, that's, that is a bargain, isn't it? That is an absolute bargain. A Zara girls top for £1.25. Um, yeah, really, and it's so pretty as well. Really nice and cool um, for the summer. If that's if we're gonna have much more of a summer because it's not brilliant, is it? Let's be honest. Um, uh, and I, well, next, I managed to get her another Zara girls top. This was another one, Zara, Zara kids. This one is uh, age nine, yet again. Reduced, was originally £2.50, reduced to £1.25. Get in. And it's a really, really pretty blue. Like, it's like a cami top, isn't it? Like a camisole type top. It looks absolutely beautiful on her. Um, she really, really liked it. Yeah, just perfect for the summer. Absolutely perfect. That'll fit her as well next year as well. Both of them will, I think. But yeah, how lovely is that? And it's got little palm trees on it stripes and blue palm trees um really really lovely yeah yeah again another fantastic bargain um and then the last item i got for her she always needs leggings and these were yet again another absolute bargain they were I don't, sorry if you can hear my washing machine in the background the bearings going on it i hope actually when i go back to edit this i hope you can hear me and you can't just hear the washing machine <laughs> Um, but yeah, um, these were originally from m &S. They were, yet again, reduced. Originally £2.50, reduced to £1.25. Just a really nice, basic pair of leggings. Leopard print design. Perfect for Zella. You know, I'm, I don't know about anyone else, but my little girl lives in leggings. She loves leggings. Um, so yeah, one pound twenty-five because they would have been a lot more than that originally, being M and S. But yeah, another fantastic bargain which she was pleased with. I got the seal of approval for those as well, which is always, always good because you never know. You never know. I'm dreading it when she gets to be a teenager. I don't know what it's going to be like. <laughs> she's only seven and she's already got. Um, she's definitely got her own mind when it comes to clothes. That's for sure. <laughs> 
Um, yeah, so that's it for today's video, guys. Uh, second charity shop haul in one week. I'm so glad I've managed to get another one out to you um, again. It's, um, it's nice that I've managed to find some, some more bits. I don't know how long it'll be till I'll find some more and any more again. But um, I think next week, because I haven't got the kids here, me and my mum are talking about going over to Leamington and giving that a go, or somewhere else. I don't know, I'll, I'll have a think about it, really. But hopefully there'll be another charity shop call coming to you very soon. Um, so yeah, that's it. that's it for today, guys. I hope you're all well. I hope you're all good. Um, wherever you are, what, whatever you're doing, uh, my lovely friends, take care of yourselves, and I will see you soon. Bye!